I'm Krista Jacobson, headmistress of the Buddha Dikai, where we teach authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu. For those of you who don't know what that is, those are the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. Uh, today we are going to be looking at Hagakure lesson number three. Uh, we'll be reading a quote from the Hagakure, and it will be from chapter one, okay? Um, before we begin, I just want to say that I'm fighting a huge head cold. I sound like a bear, uh, but I do want to get some of these videos up on the YouTube channel so we could get some interaction with the students, okay? Um, so today's lesson, we'll be reading from chapter one. Now, as many of you guys know who have seen previous of the Hagakure videos that I've posted, as well as some of the other videos that I've posted regarding the way of the samurai, I just want to kind of preface one thing. Um, there are many, many historical writings that talk about the way of the samurai. Uh, people use different words, whether it's um, budo or um, Bunomichi or Mononofunomichi, some people say Bushido, right? And then some people like to argue uh, whether Bushido was um, in the time of the samurai or whatever, that kind of thing. Without doubt, when you read the old books like the Agakure, over and over, they, they talk about the way of the samurai. When you read Miyamoto Musashi's Book of Five Rings, he talks about the way of the warrior is this, the way of the warrior is that. You read the Hagakure, the way of the samurai is this, the way of the samurai is that. So without doubt, there was the way of the samurai. There was the way of the warrior. I think in the modern day, people like to bitch a lot, you know, and they, they try to come up with this set of rules of this was the way, when in reality, Every martial arts school has their own ethics and code of conduct, and I think that the samurai traditions weren't any different. Every samurai tradition had their own ethics and code of conduct that they uh, lived by and what they expected from the samurai. And um, so when you, when you read different, t different um, historical documents and scrolls and din show and things like that, you're reading from different traditions and not, there wasn't this set hard rule as this was the way of the samurai in every samurai tradition, regardless of Yuha or who they were serving, who their lord was, who their daimyo was, everyone fit this set of rules. Well, that's a little inaccurate. But one thing is for certain, the way of the samurai was definitively within the age of the samurai. And this way was something that was very known. Okay? Now, uh, as we've now finished that little bit, I'm going to go into the quote. I'm going to read the quote, and then I'm going to go back through, and I'm going to kind of give you my little tidbits um, on each individual little section. Uh, then I'll read it one more time, and if you guys would like to share your thoughts uh, down below in the comment section, that'd be wonderful. The thing about reading, you know, historical documents and ancient writings is that a lot of it is subjective, a lot of it is an, uh, interpretive. Um, you know, some of it uh, stems from other documents that they may have uh, read or was uh, introduced to at the age of when they wrote this particular document so that may have been influenced by their writings or influenced by um, other historical events of the time. So the great thing about reading these and making these videos for all of my students in the Buddha Yukai and supporters as well for you guys who watch my videos it gives us a great opportunity to have a good discussion in the comment section if you guys would like to share your thoughts as well. Okay, so um, Without any more chit chat, here we go. So this is the quote. Although all things are not to be judged in this manner, I mention it in the investigation of the way of the samurai. When the time comes, there is no movement for reasoning. And if you have not done your inquiry beforehand, there is most often shame. Reading books and listening to people's talk are for the purpose of prior resolution. Above all, the way of the samurai should be in being aware that you do not know what's going to happen next and questioning everything day and night. Victory and defeat are matters of the temporary force of circumstance. The way of avoiding shame is different. It's simply in death. Even if it seems certain that you will lose, retaliate. Neither wisdom nor technique has a place in this. A real man does not think of victory or defeat. He plunges recklessly towards an irrational death. By doing this, you will awaken from your dreams. So, right, that's a big one. So here we go. This first part is, he's saying, although all things are not meant to be judged, you know, I mentioned this in the investigation of the way of the samurai. So um, this, the, the Hagakure was, uh, was transcribed and was kept to preserve the thoughts of samurai in a certain time period, okay? So they're trying to kind of write down the essence of what it means to be samurai, kind of the, et the, the etiquette and, and the way of the samurai. So what he's saying to start, he's saying, you know, from my, my perspective, right, although the not everything needs to be judged, all right, not everything needs to be judged, uh, I do mention it 
because this is the investigation of the way of the samurai. We're writing this down. You're clearly writing this down for future generations to have. The next part it says, when the time comes, there is no moment for reasoning, and if you've not done your inquiry beforehand, there is most often shame. So imagine samurai. When the time comes and you have to be samurai, you know, there is no moment for reasoning. It's like, shit hits the fan. You're not going to be like, okay, what's the best thing to do? No. Shit hits the fan, you get it done, right? There's a problem in front of you. You, you handle the problem. You don't have to sit there and maybe determine the best option. You come up with a option and you get it done. You don't always have the time to come up with this, the, the perfect, you know, the perfect explanation or the, or the perfect action. You know, when the time comes, there is no moment for reasoning. So you can't reason for that, right? Now it goes on to say, and if you've done, and if you have not done your inquiry beforehand, there is most often shame. So again, let's go back to shit hits the fan. You got to get it done. And if you haven't had the proper training and you haven't had done the proper research and the proper study, when you have to do what a samurai has to do, you will more than likely have shame. And if you read it like that, when you read that when the time comes, there's no moment for reasoning. And if you've not done your, uh, your inquiry beforehand, there is most often shame. And you read that as when shit hits the fan, you ain't got time to think. And if you've done your proper training, you know, and, and studying before, you know, if you've not done your proper training and studying before, then when you get done doing what you got to do, you're going to have shame. That's kind of how I read that. The next part, uh, it reads, reading books and listening to people's talk are for the purpose of prior resolution. And I believe that. The one thing about studying the martial arts, we're studying the martial arts to kind of beat our inner demons and to make our, ourselves better than what we are now. And by listening to maybe my me making this video on YouTube and writing and reading, you know, ancient historical writings, or maybe you read another book by Confucius or whoever, right? And by reading these old books and, and reading the books or hearing people's lectures, if that motivates you to be better, that's because there's already something prior that makes you feel like in the now I need to be better. Right, so when he says that, I agree 100%. Reading books and listening to people's talk are for the purpose of prior resolution. So it's true. I mean, you have this issue going on that's in the past, and you're trying to put it to rest. You know, whether that's making yourself a better person, making yourself more successful in business, um, dealing with internal problems, whether it's anxiety or fear or depression. Absolutely, I do believe that, and um, th there's a lot of truth to that. And if you add that to the previous statement of, you know, when shit hits the fan, you do not have time to think. And if you haven't had proper training and you haven't done proper study, you will have shame. But understanding the shame that you will have by reading books and listening to people talk, that ain't going to help that shame. That's going to help prior the things that happened prior. And, I, and when you read that, I, you, you get a much more deeper understanding of what I feel that he's trying to get across. Sorry, someone uh, was uh, calling on my phone and it shut the video off. So here we go. We pick up where we left off. The next section is absolutely great. So right after he says reading books and listening to people's talk or for the purpose of prior resolution. Then it goes on to say, above all, the way of the samurai should be in being aware that you do not know what's going to happen next and questioning everything day and night. And I think that is absolutely great. That is just true. Above all, the way of the samurai should be aware that you do not know what's going to happen next. You are not in control. The only thing you're in control of is your own actions. But what's going to happen next, you don't know. You need to be completely aware of that and you need to question everything from everybody all of the time. There's so many people that put themselves off like this. They, they know the gospel, you know, and, and, you know, people believe them and they drink the Kool-Aid and, and they really shouldn't do that. You should, above all, you should be aware that you are not in control of everything you think you're in control of. And you need to question everything that goes on so you can make the best decision for you. And I think that's that's where he's going at with that. And I think that's absolutely brilliant. He goes on to say, victory and defeat are matters of temporary force of circumstance. And that is true, too. I mean, you know, this part right here, this sentence, it's, it's in the middle of two very strong points. And I think this sentence, victory and defeat are matters of temporary force of circumstance. It's true. Because and it is temporary because as a samurai, if you go and win the battle, there's going to be another battle. If you go out and lose the battle, you're still going to be another battle. So regardless, if you're samurai, your job is to serve your lord, serve the daimyo, and protect what it is that they're telling you to protect. So victory and defeat are matters of temporary force of circumstance, one way or the other. The way, the way of avoiding shame is different. It's simply in death. 
And, and I think that goes back to the first part where he's saying that, you know, if you don't do your proper training and you don't do your proper study, you know, there will be things that you're going to feel shame for. And what he is saying here is the way of avoiding shame uh, is different. It's simply in death. So if you're going to be samurai, you're going to do things that are a little shameful that you're going to feel personally um, bad about, but you're going to do it anyway because you need to do it for your Lord. You need to do it for you know, your people, your family, your, your village, you're doing it for the betterment of them. You're not doing it for your own personal, um, satisfaction. So it's like when people, I mean, I mean, soldiers have to kill. That is what it is. The way of the samurai is not the way of a preacher or a rabbi or a monk, right? The way of the samurai isn't the same as the way of a merchant or the way of a carpenter. The way of the samurai, the way of the warrior is much different. I mean, that way is a way that allows them to be who it is that they are and to go out and do the things that they do, right? And that in many ways, if you if you understand that way from maybe a merchant's perspective or a preacher's perspective, it's very horrific. I mean, they're killing people for a living, you know? And sometimes the only way that that shame that they have to take personally is the only way to resolve that is death. Here we go. Even if it seems certain that you will lose, retaliate. Neither wisdom nor technique has a place in this. That is brilliant. Even if it's even if it seems certain that you're going to lose, fuck that. Retaliate. Fight back. No matter what. Because wisdom and technique has no place. So when you know you're going to lose, you know, shit hits the fan, go. You just, get, you just go with everything you got, 100%. And it says, uh, a real man or samurai... Uh, does not think of victory or defeat. He plunges recklessly towards an irrational death. And this, in the, the very first scriptures of the Hagakure, which we've not read yet, we're going to get into a later lesson, even though it opened up, the book opened with this. But the book of the Hagakure reads as, the way of the samurai is found in death. Right? So there's a big placement on dying for your Lord. You, 100 to 1, it doesn't matter. You just plunge in there 100% and you do what you're supposed to do with honor. And you die with honor for your Lord, for your family, for your village. And later on in the book, when you read a little bit more into it, you talk, you, he talks about genjutsu and illusion and how he kind of believes that life itself is an illusion or life itself is just a dream. And I think he makes reference to that a little bit at the end because he says... Uh, you plunge recklessly toward an irrational death. By doing this, you will awaken from your dreams. So um, those are my little tidbits on all of that. I'm going to read it one more time so you guys can hear it. And again, I'm sorry I had this freaking sinus cold here, but sorry, my phone just rang again. So I'm going to read this last quote one more time, give you guys an outro, and then I want you guys to, in the comment section tell me what you guys think, okay? So here we go. Although all things are not to be judged in this manner, I mention it in the investigation of the way of the samurai. When the time comes, there is no moment for reasoning, and if you have not done your inquiry beforehand, there is most often shame. Reading books and listening to people's talk are for the purpose of prior resolution. Above all, the way of the samurai should be in being aware that you do not know what's going to happen next, and questioning everything day and night. Victory and defeat are the matters of temporary force of circumstance. The way of avoiding shame is different. It's simply in death. Even if it seems certain that you will lose, retaliate. Neither wisdom nor technique has a place in this. A real man or samurai does not think of victory or defeat. He plunges recklessly towards an irrational death. By doing this, you will awaken from your dreams. So there is the quote that we're working on today. Again, that is uh, one of the quotes written in chapter one of the Hagakure written by Yamamoto Sutomo. Um, please, in the comment section, give me what you guys think um, uh, the quote means to you and uh, some of the tidbits that you guys feel um, very strong with and how you guys can apply that to your training. For those of you guys who have watched this video, and this might be your first video uh, of mine, um, again, I'm Krista Jacobson. I'm the headmistress of the Buddha Dukai. If you're interested in authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu, please check out our website at www.budodininjutsu.com. There you can see a list of all of our schools. If you don't live next to one of our schools, you can always join the online ninjutsu dojo and start your training today uh, through our online dojo. So again, thank you guys very much for all your love and support. I will talk to all of you guys later. Um, take care, be safe, and um, good luck in your journey of Budo. Let's see.